So I fully admit to the fact that I haven't spent a whole lot of time photographing in Denmark for the past couple of years, three years. And you gotta admit, it's mainly because I, I haven't really been that inspired by Denmark. We have kind of like a big, flat, rural country. And I'm more inspired by mountains and, yeah, for me, exotic places. There's only a few places in Denmark I've ever visited where I've been like, there's a little bit of potential here. So in 2019, I want to make up for that. This is not going to be like a video series, like my other series but more like just random in between videos of my experiences here in Denmark. And the first place I've come to is only like half an hour drive from where I live. It's called Store Trollhøj. Big troll hill. And yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, there's a lot of heather and the main reason why I came out this morning was I had to do some b-roll for another job but I also want to explore this place I have been here once before but this morning the weather forecast said that it will be foggy and there's a lot of hoarfrost on all the plants too, not much wind. So all in all, pretty interesting and moody conditions. You can see here behind me that there's a lot of silver birches and other older trees and the fog does make a lot of separation. So all in all, I. I think it was a wise decision to get out here this morning. Definitely a place I want to spend more time in. I bet, I bet this location looks just stunning during autumn. So one of the main reasons why I'm not really inspired so much by Denmark is that for me it's hard to find that interesting focal point. Like when I think composition I'm always thinking what is it I'm supposed to show the viewer. And I have a thing for mountains, I have a thing for ancient trees and I think like most other landscape photographers. But this area here is one of the more interesting locations I've come across in Denmark. And I bet there are so many other locations like this. I just haven't really explored it. I bet many of you know that when you live in a location, you have a tendency to like go to the same locations when you're out for a walk or a run. And you don't really get to see what's just down that road to the left when you're out running. You never go there, but there might be something worth photographing. And I felt the same here in Denmark. So what I've done is that I found different home pages for walking routes in Denmark. It's a big official map with all the public walking routes in Denmark and we have so many. So it really is just about getting started. One of the places was actually here, and I like it a lot. Now, it's a little bit atypical to have a hill like this in Denmark, which is so pronounced. And it could actually work as a focal point. 
as I said earlier, today will probably be more of a scouting day than making portfolio quality photos, but that's also fun. So I'll just walk a bit around and, and see what I can find. So I've come by this nice composition here with a birch tree and I have all the frosty heather as a foreground and it helps with creating a little bit of interest in the foreground so it's not like completely minimalist. Of course it leads up to the birch tree and the birch tree will be the area with the highest contrast in the photo so there's no doubt about where you're supposed to look and what I'm taking a photograph of. I also have the, the birch trees in the background and because of all the fog it's there's a nice separation there and uh, I really like this super simple scene and I really like the birch tree because it it looks old it looks like there's some story to it it's not like controlled by humans in any ways it has just had its time to to grow and grow old So this morning is actually turning out to be quite a success, I would say. Uh, because I have like two layers of clouds above me, the sun won't come through and uh, it, it won't like remove all the fog. So I have so much time to just walk around, find my composition and photograph it. And all the trees here are so interesting, There, there's so much, yeah well, atmosphere in the air but but the trees themselves are just there's some story to them they they look interesting and that's quite rare in Denmark like in England or Great Britain you can just walk out and there's like old trees all over the place but in Denmark most of all trees have been like chopped down and it's just like rural landscape but in a few places it is actually possible to find something which is of, of yeah, a very pristine character. So, so this scene here, I found a, a special little tree and I'm using the other trees to frame it. And I have all the fog in the background, so it should stand out. There's a lot of separation in the, in the scene and there's a lot of atmosphere. And it's, yeah, it's, it's quite ethereal in many ways. So I really like it. I really, really like this one. There's also another one, like literally just behind it, which I also want. So, yeah, yeah, quite a success coming out here this morning.
So there really are just so many beautiful compositions here when you use the long lens. So many details, so many treetops which just stands out and have so much character to them. So right now, so right now I'm just zooming in to everything I can see and what catches my eye. I'm literally just standing in the same position, moving maybe a few meters here or there, just to, to, to free some of the trees from the background. But beside that, it's, a, it, it's really just like a candy shop of, of photographs I can get here. It's so, so beautiful. So this turned out to be a way bigger success than I had imagined. I did expect that this location would be interesting because of the fog and I did expect that there might be something here. But in all honesty, I didn't foresee that the hoarfrost would make such a big difference. It helps a lot when it's like on the heather and on the branches of the different trees. It helps to, to separate and create texture and separate the trees from the background. So I hope you enjoyed this first video and first try on exploring Denmark a bit more and actually go to some completely unknown uh, locations in the landscape photography community. From time to time I will spend a bit more time on, on exploring Denmark and try to find some interesting scenes and motives here to, to photograph. So even though my YouTube has mainly been dedicated to these big epic vistas and special locations and like iconic locations for landscape photographers, I myself have, has felt that it does become a little bit the same. Obviously I can, I can go to new locations and explore those, but I do find some satisfaction in this treasure hunting part of landscape photography where you actually go out to new locations where you've never been before and you use all the tools that you have learned over the years and see if you can get something interesting in your own neighborhood. So this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment.